Hello friends, Coolio here, and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are playing this trading card game that I just came across a couple of days ago called Athenion. Now I've been kind of in the mood to play like, you know, a new trading card game. And this one isn't necessarily new, I think it came out like a month or two ago. But I have seen a couple of videos here and there of people trying this game out. And so I was like, you know what, let's download it, let's try it out and uh, see if the game's fun. And honestly, I have been enjoying it. It's probably not everybody's cup of tea because I feel like the strategy in this game is really, really interesting. But hopefully we end up winning and hopefully I do a somewhat decent job at trying to explain what the heck is going on. So let's go ahead and drop down our soul burst, get an extra piece of energy, and we are going to go ahead, let's see, and um, I'll summon him up there. See, what does that do? Last wish, freeze a random enemy unit. This unit is linked, gain plus three. Let's just go ahead and drop that down right there and attack and end our turn. Okay, so the way that this game works is when you summon the units on the field, they have a cost between like one and three. That cost gets added up together at the end of your turn or during your turn or whatever. And then at your next turn, when you start, you get to attack your enemy. And so the whole point of the game is to keep your units alive on the field as long as possible so that you can deal damage to the enemy player. So right now what we need to do is he's got a lot of units over on the right that we need to take out. This will actually be really, really good. Let's go ahead and summon him there. And our turn, and then they'll attack. Now you'll notice that his units didn't attack mine. It's because each unit has like arrows in the direction that they're able to attack. And so if you don't have an arrow point in the same direction as your enemy units, your units won't be able to counter attack. And so there's a whole strategy of like placing your units on the board in like the best position possible to make sure you do like the most damage. And so, yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it. It's I think it's a lot of fun. So here's hoping that we'll be able to win this round. Let's see, what do we want to do for each friendly uh, damage friendly unit? Um, gain plus two until the end of the turn. What do we want to do? Deal one damage to a friendly unit and give it plus two. Let's go ahead. Drop that down there. He gets up five. And attack. Now, I'm not going to be able to destroy that unit, and that's okay. I'm just trying to summon really powerful units on the board right now to deal as much damage as I possibly can to the enemy to try to decrease their life as fast as I possibly can, so... Nine damage there. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Um, got the robber guy. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, wait, let's do this. And then let's do... Let's do that. We are going to give damage to... That one. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we've got 11 attack points. He's only got four. Honestly, we're going to do a lot of damage here this next round if he doesn't take out some of my units. We've got some pretty strong ones on the battlefield. So I don't expect he'll be able to take out a lot of them. But at least take out one of them, so... And you know what? Honestly, I'm not even going to worry about the fact that he has a lot of strong units on his side of the field. We're just going to try to summon as many units as possible to make it difficult for him to even, like, counter-attack us. Okay, so as long as we can keep our units alive, we're going to be dealing enough damage to take him out. So I don't think there's really anything that he can do. He can take out a couple of my units, but I don't think he's going to be able to take out enough to make it so I don't cause him enough damage. So now it's my turn. I deal damage back to him, and I end up winning. That was actually one of the fastest <laughs> rounds that I've won so far, so 
That actually turned out really, really good. Casual batter, battler, play casual mode 10 times. So there we go. Victory is ours. I'm level eight now. Now, one thing that I think is really cool is there is, I think, like six or something. Yeah, there are six pre-made decks in the game when you first jump into it. So there's lots of different strategies, full decks for you to use. So there's a lot of stuff that you can kind of play with. The other thing, though, is the game gives you an insane amount of card packs. I have 31 to be able to summon for today. So we are going to do some summoning. One thing I, before we do that, though, I do want to point out one thing that is interesting in the settings. You can actually go up to 120 frames per second on this game. That's actually pretty cool. And on my phone, it looks great. Like, I, I feel like the game runs pretty good. I will say, like, switching between things, there is kind of a weird, like, black loading. I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, you know, the servers or something like that. Let's go to my card packs, and let's go ahead and open them, max, and see if we can't get at least one or two legendary cards. Now, we probably won't spend, like, the whole video doing the, the rest of the packs. I may not even summon all 30 packs, maybe until we get a legendary. But if you guys want to see like any future videos for this game or if you guys want to see um, more pack openings, let me know. But I will say I'm actually digging the art in this game. I think the art looks really, really good. They've got lots and lots of cards, like a lot of cards. And I've opened up, I've probably opened up about 10 packs so far. And even including the fact that I have uh, a bunch of pre-made decks, I'm still unlocking new cards that I haven't even seen before. So there's lots of cards in this game, lots of different strategies. And I think if you're a big fan of trading card games, you may end up really liking this game. So, and they just released a brand new um, faction of cards. I think there's like, I want to say there's like 60 or 70 new cards. Part of like this moon faction thing that I'll show you guys in just a second. Go ahead and open these. I'm going to try to speed through this fairly quickly. Um, I would go through and zoom in on some of the cards, but I want to do it if we see like a legendary. So you guys can see what the legendaries look like. Now you can definitely tell when you get a legendary because um, it'll like glow like rainbow and stuff. So I have to continue. Come on, give us at least one legendary. That's all I'm asking. Okay, so it's gold. So I think we, I think it's an epic. You can see it's glowing gold. So those are three of the new. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. The sapphire sword. Whoa, look at the attack on that thing. Up on the top left, it can attack in every single direction. That is crazy. And then our, lead, or our epic card is the Goblin Bomber, which I'm pretty sure they show you that in like the tutorial. So I'm glad I got that one. Here's an, oh, here we go. So we got a legendary. Our legendary is the one on the bottom right. So let's go ahead and open up all these. And the, oh, that one looks kind of cool. Silva Shadow Assassin, Dark Power. And we've got uh, Jonah Dark Shaman. And then our legendary is Bina the Rock Piercer. Awaken, if an enemy hero has six soul or more and has more than your total soul, deal nine damage randomly split among all enemy units. That is crazy. We could have used that in a couple of my matches earlier today. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the rest of these packs. And then I'll show you guys um, at, maybe at least one pack from the new faction. Any of these ones look pretty cool. We got Chaka the Mountain. Okay, let's keep going. We got three more packs left. Any of these ones look pretty? Oh, we got that one kind of looks fun. Drew, just named Druid. That's it. Merbeast Assassin looks more like a cat. Vanguard Knight. Okay, let's keep going. It'd be pretty sweet if we got at least one more legendary. Which I, we're not going to get one on this one. Go ahead and open these ones. This is kind of a lame pack. We didn't really get a lot. Baphomet, we got that one. That one looks kind of cool. And the last one, is it going to be a legendary? It is not. We got two rares, Terra Golem and Sky Rider. Okay, so we opened up all those packs. Okay, so we got one legendary, one epic. And then we've got a bunch for the Grand Master. But instead of doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up at least one pack for the Lunar Capital. Now I will say like, I haven't been playing the game for very long, but they do give you enough currency in the game like fairly often that you're able to buy new packs. But I got 30 packs completely for free. So keep that in mind. So this is the new one, the Lunar Capital. These are the new cards that just came out with. And I think there's like six or seven new legendaries. Moon Palace Guardian, Crescent Rider, Moonstone Miner, and the Crescent Stag. Okay, let's go ahead. We have one more pack to open here. Cross your fingers, it's a legendary. I don't think so. Nope, it's just a basic rare. 
Ooh, we got at least three rares. Nice, Moon Huntress. And then, you know what? Let's just go ahead. Let's just open up two packs in this one. The Grandmasters. So we can see some cards from the Grandmasters one as well. Ooh, three rares here. We got Bishop Kanan. We've got the Knight Black Horse. Pawn Buckler. Knight Sal Spear Knight. Oh, that one looks cool. The Pawn Black Trickster. So it looks like this deck, this specific faction, is focused on like the uh, like chess pieces. So you have knights, you've got, oh, we got a legendary. Okay, perfect. A perfect way to end the video is with a legendary and a rare, nice. We got Pawn Herrera. We've got Pawn Alchemist Bunny. We've got the Abandoned Ship. And then our epic is Knight Cab Cabera, Cab Cabalera. I don't know how to say that. And then our legendary is, ooh, King Karis the Kuningas. I don't even know how to say that. It attacks in literally every single direction. At the beginning of your turn, set this unit's shield to two. And when you wake and gain attack, health, and shield equal to the sum of all friendly, all nearby friendly units with shield. Dang, holy crap. I want to add that one to my deck. That one looks really cool. So there you guys go. Athenion. Definitely a pretty fun game. I feel like it's a, like it's a, what's the word I'm thinking of? like underappreciated. Not a lot of people know about it. There's not a lot of players. So hopefully more people jump in and play this game because I actually think it's a pretty good one. So guys, thanks so much for watching. My name's Coolio. And again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Okay, friends, I'll see you next time.